Hi everybody, my name's Tony and I'm here with the Everyday Counts program. And we have an hour together for yoga. And today's yoga is about focusing on energizing. So, energy in our practice, energy in our breath. And that's where we'll start. So, wherever you're comfortable starting, whether seated in a chair to start with, or settled down, maybe supported by something or on the floor. Take a big breath in wherever you are. Exhale out as you settle into the support and take a few breaths like that. Settling yourself down into this moment. Starting to let go of your day, your week so far. And tuning in and noticing how you feel today. What it is that you need from your practice. Knowing that I'm simply your guide, that you can adjust and adapt everything I say to suit yourself and your body and your needs at this moment. There's no need to follow along for something that doesn't suit you today, or if anything doesn't feel right for your body. Simply stop, rest, or move into a different shape or movement that suits you better. Giving yourself full permission to do what it is that you need today, rather than having an expectation of how this is going to feel or look. Notice how your body feels today and if there are parts, locations in your body that you need to take extra care of. And if you need to have extra folded towels or blankets for things like knees that need supporting, then you can gather anything that you need. Noticing tension or tightness in your body. And noticing if you can change that a little by any kind of movement. Settling into that support. Awareness to your breath. Maybe breathing in and out through your nose if that's comfortable for you. And imagining on that inhale, you are drawing energy into your body, filling it up from your toes to the tips of your fingers and the crown of your head. Exhaling, get out in your own soft way. With that energy in on the inhale, imagine that as life force, spreading to every cell of your body. Notice how that feels, that energy in, not forcing the breath in any way so the breath is sustainable. But imagine, sense, or feel every inhale is infusing every cell of your body with energy. Allow the exhale to be just as important as the inhale easing and relaxing any tension, any stress. So the breath is balanced with this energy in on the inhale and the soft letting go of the exhale, letting that energy settle. And taking the hands down next to you wherever you are, palms turned up, 
from the elbows to start with that inhale, gathering energy in, exhaling, pushing those palms down, slow and steady. And as the hands rise, imagine that like the rising of the sun in your body, the energy in, and the setting of the sun, the energy as it releases on the exhale. Excellent place to stay right here or moving from the shoulders. Inhaling, sweeping the arms up, any height. Exhaling, the palms come down like that sun setting. There's no right or wrong here. Your hands don't have to come to a particular place. But just follow that energy. The inhale, the filling up of energy, that rising of the sun. And the exhale, the settling, the releasing. Last one here. As the hands come down, interlacing the hands in front of you, turning the palms away, pushing out in front of you, elbows bent or straight, drawing the belly in towards the spine, chin comes in and we round into the back body. Taking a few breaths here, energy into the back body on the inhale, filling up all the way through the back ribs, back of the neck all the way through the back of the skull. Last breath, and on an inhale, releasing and sending your fingertips upwards. Energy in on the inhale, elbows can be bent or straight or a little bit in between, rooting down to rise up. Maybe allowing a little swaying wherever you are. Allow it to be your own movement. And coming back to center when you're ready, releasing the palms down and floating the arms down like feathers on a breeze, rolling the shoulders in one direction and back in the other direction. From here, coming over onto hands and knees. And if you're seated in a chair, you're welcome to stay for seated cat and cow if you prefer. And taking any support you need to underneath your knees. Hands spread nice and wide, at least shoulder distance apart. Comfortable distance for your knees, toes tucked or untucked. Come back to that breath, and then the belly draws in. Push into the hand to the back of the heart. Lift, gaze is neutral. Energy in on the inhale, exhale is the settling. So on the inhale, as the energy comes in, the heart lifts, the gaze lifts, the tailbone lifts towards the sky, arching the back. On the exhale, push into your hands, knees, and feet and lift through the back body. Energy in on the inhale, settling and easing through the exhale. Noticing how this feels in your body. Always coming to forearms if that feels better for you. Mm -hmm. Another three, or resting if you need to, always coming to child's pose if that feels good for you. After your last exhale, coming back to center. And from here, rolling through the ribs, allowing big barrel rolls through your ribs, bringing energy in. Notice 
your breath. Notice how your body feels in this fluid movement. And then we'll take it round in the opposite direction. Always knowing you can rest or come to another shape if that feels better for you. Notice how your spine feels here. Energy moving through your body. And then when you're ready, coming back to center. Settling down, energy in, energy out. And I'm going to come and face you. Our right foot steps out towards the right, patting the left knee if you need to. Spinning the left thumb forward or somewhat if that feels good. Supporting underneath the shoulder. On the inhale, let those right fingertips come up to support on tented fingers and maybe this is enough slight twist to the right side on the inhale if you're adding sweeping the arm up maybe back that's the inhale exhale tapping down inhaling and exhaling imagine that opening up of the sunshine on the inhale drawing energy in and that softening of the exhale Again, that image of the sun rising on the inhale and setting on the exhale. Energy in and energy softening. Next time you sweep that arm up, option to stay. Send the heart up towards the sky, your gaze wherever it feels most alive. And drawing energy into every cell of your body. Stay for one more breath, and on an exhale, coming all the way down, and sending that right leg forward. Give it a little help. Same thing here, hands come to the inside of the right foot. Adjust yourself as you need to, whether that left knee wants to settle back or more forward. There's no right and wrong here. Maybe that right foot wants to ease out towards the right more. Left hand supports you. On an inhale, elbow reaches up. We've already been here. Exhale, fingertips down, staying here. Or adding on, right arm lifting up, maybe back behind you. And the option is to stay pulsing. The option is to lift the arm up and stay. And the last option here is to tuck the left toes, lift up through the back knee and elevate yourself, opening your heart, opening your energy. Three breaths wherever you are. And on that next exhale, or when you're ready, left knee comes down to support. Right hand reaches down, readjust yourself, and draw the right knee back. Cat and cow, rolling through the ribs, anything you need to, to reset. And then when you're ready, Left foot comes out to the side, connecting the left foot out. Right hand is supporting you underneath the right shoulders, coming to, onto tented left fingertips as we start to gently twist towards the left, patting the right knee as you need to. On the inhale, option to stay here or sweeping that left arm up. Exhale, tapping down. Working with your own breath. That feeling of that inhale, the sun rising on the inhale. Energy coming into every cell of your body. Exhaling, coming down. 
expand on the inhale and soften on the exhale. Option to stay here. Option next time those fingers come up, we stay three breaths, expanding in every direction, using the foundation to find length through the fingertips, across the collarbones, through the crown of the head. And when you're ready or your next exhale, taking the left hand down. And then the left foot comes forward. Give it a little help with your hands, hands to the inside of the left foot. And then set up your foundation to suit you. Right toes are tucked. Right hand is supporting you once again. On the inhale, the elbow draws up on the left hand like we're drawing back a bow on a bow and arrow. That's the inhale, exhaling down. Stay there or inhaling, the arm extends. We've already been here. Notice what feels best for you. There is no right and wrong here. Option to keep pulsing. Option to extend the left arm up, maybe even back behind you and stay there. Or tuck those right toes and elevate the right knee. That right knee, long and strong. <laughs> My pants are a little baggy. And infuse yourself with that energy, every cell of your body getting bright. Extend through your fingertips, the heels, the foundation, the crown of your head. And on the exhale, or when you're ready, right knee comes down, left arm comes down. And then we sweep the left leg round and back. Any movement you need in your body simply to move energy, go ahead. And then when you're ready, Knees come to a comfortable width. Big toes towards each other, coming into child's pose. Toes are untucked. Hips back towards heels or seated on a rolled towel or a bolster if that's more comfortable. Supported child's pose on your hands, your forearms. Stacked fists. If you have a block, that can come underneath your forehead or coming all the way down in your own way. Knees can be wide or together. The wider they are, the flatter the back. The closer they are together, the rounding of the back. You can stay in stillness. You can sway your hips from side to side, anything that feels good here. And the option is Sending your fingertips out to the front of your mat. Forearms lifted off the floor. Walking those spider fingers to one side and shifting the opposite hip away. Breathing into your body, infusing it with energy. And coming back to center when you're ready. And over to the other side, opposite hip slides away from the extended fingers to find length on one side. And coming back to center. And taking the last three breaths here, or stay for a little longer. And when you're ready, coming up to hands and knees. Once again, reset your foundations. And from here, coming into um, either um, preparation for downward facing dog, or downward facing dog. So the wider you take your feet here, the easier this may be. Pushing into your foundation and awakening up through the spine. 
infusing your breath with energy on the inhale, settling on the exhale. And once the breath is settled, push into your hands and tucked toes. On the inhale, hover the knees. On the exhale, slowly draw them down to the earth. Inhaling slowly, gathering your knees up. Exhaling slowly, releasing. Notice everything that happens for this to work in your body. It's a whole lot going on here. And if this is enough, stay here. If you want to, inhaling, hover the knees. Stay there for three breaths and release when you're ready and continue. Or coming into downward facing dog, push down through your toes and hands all the way down to your fingertips and the tips of your thumbs. On the inhale, lifting up through the hips, bent knees, push through your hands and taking your seat up towards the sky. From here, straightening one leg, bending the other. Pushing the heels down towards the earth, they do not have to get there. Again, the wider you take your stance, the easier this will be. The closer your feet, the more challenging. You can lengthen your stance, you can widen it. There's no right or wrong here, what feels right for you. Option to stay here, straightening and bending one leg and then the other, or lifting up through both heels. And on the exhale, settling the heels down towards the floor, they may not ever get there. And then pushing through the whole hand, all the way to the fingertips, to send the hips up high, the heart towards the thighs, steady breath, infusing your whole body with breath, three breaths, always option to come down, and then child's pose. Infusing every cell, with energy. And then on the exhale, knees come down. Find child's pose or your resting pose. Settle the breath. Feel how alive the inhale can be. Drawing energy in and feeling that energy settle on the exhale. When you're ready, from here, in your own time, I'll meet you standing in your own way. Maybe tucking the toes, bringing the hands back towards the knees and meeting you standing. Here we are standing. Feet a comfortable distance, mountain pose. Palms towards me, shoulders down and away from the ears, collarbones wide. Get really rooted down through your feet, spread your toes. Feel the connection downwards. And come back to the breath. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhaling, the palms rise, exhaling, palms come down, bending from the elbows. That rising sun feeling on the inhale and that setting sun on the exhale. Stay there or start to move from your shoulders in your own way. Infusing yourselves with energy, energizing your whole body. Mm -hmm. Next time those hands come up, right hand taking left wrist, 
left palm towards the screen. Bend through your elbows and knees. On an inhale, up and over to the right. Opening up through the left armpit. And then shifting the hips to the left, noticing how that feels. And those right toes can come out towards the right. Focusing your gaze, steadying your breath, infusing the left bow of your body with energy. Option to hover those right toes, tapping up or down or extending. Two more breaths. All right, toes come down and in, coming all the way back to center and floating the arms down. Roll through the shoulders, allow that energy to settle. When you're ready, arms sweeping up. Left hand, right wrist, bending through the elbows and knees, that's the exhale. On the inhale, we're reaching up and over. And this might be enough steadying the breath. No numbness or tingling in the hands. If that happens, simply bring the hands down and reach through the crown of your head. Otherwise, sending the fingertips left, hips go to the right. Finding that energy through the right side of your body. Left toes can tap out. And go to your comfortable place. Maybe those toes hover. You've got three breaths. Steady breath. Toes come down and in. Up we come to center, floating the arms down. Rolling the shoulders one direction and back in the other direction. Mm -hmm. Coming towards the top of our mat, feet a comfortable distance, hands on your hips. The in energy in on the inhale, the settling of the exhale. Root into the right foot, left heel lifts on the inhale. And when you're ready, Left heel steps back, all the way back, warrior two. So those toes, back toes are turned in 10 or 15 degrees, right toes facing forward. And notice your foundation here, move around, change it up if that feels better for you. There's no right and wrong here. Straightening and bending that front knee and readjusting your foundation. When you're ready, settling down into the right knee over the right ankle. And again, readjusting things. That left heel is turned out somewhat, so we have this internal rotation. Push through the right foot, and up we come. Left shoulder roots back, so we're facing the left side of the mat. Great place to stay right here. Option to take the arms out in a, um, in a T, shoulder height. Reaching with the fingertips, rolling the shoulders down and away. And this is the inhale and the exhale. Settling in to that bent right knee. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Adding the arms. This is the exhale. On the inhale, left hand comes back, right arm elevates. We've already just been here. Exhaling, settling back, warrior two. We've already got that external rotation from our work on our hands and knees earlier. Dancing, warrior two. Notice how this feels in your body. Slow it down, smooth it out. 
option next time you come down into warrior two, we stay always the option to readjust things. Gazing over the right fingertips, push down through both of your foundational feet and spread the energy on the inhale all the way to the fingertips, to the toes, to the heels, through the crown of the head. Notice what your body's telling you. Work with it, adjusting for it. Option to close the eyes, three breaths here. Last breath. Float the eyes open. Straighten the front leg. Hands come to the hips. Turn towards the front of your mat. Push off with the back leg and come forward. Bend through the knees. Hula hoop through the hips in one direction. And then back in the opposite direction. When you're ready, other foot. I'm going to come this side so I can face you. Connecting down through both feet, hands to the hips, settle the breath, and then start to invite that energy in on the inhale of every cell of your body, feeling so awake and alive. That energy settling on the exhale. When you're ready, right heel lifts. Stepping back on an exhale, warrior two, all the way. We've already got that external rotation from when we were um, on our hands and knees. So play with that foundation. Right heel is adjusted out, toes in somewhat, so we have that internal rotation on the back leg straightening and bending the left knee. And then we settle. Settle with the bent knee, knee over ankle, more or less, opening up through the shoulders to face the side of your mat. Once you're here and you've adjusted, straighten the leg. Root down through both feet, up through the crown of your head, and the option is to extend the arms out, fingertips reach, shoulders back and down. Inhaling, exhaling, settling down into the left knee. Inhaling, straightening, exhaling, settling. Feeling that broadness across the collarbones all the way into the fingertips. Adding on with the arms on the inhale, the right arm comes down, left arm extends, and here we are. Moving through with the breath, that flow. Imagine you're moving through water. Always adjusting as you go, rest when you need to. Breath is easy. Option to flow, option to come into warrior two and stay gazing over those left fingertips, settling into the shape. Always adjusting and adapting as you need to. Option to soften the gaze, close the eyes. Three breaths, infusing every cell on the inhale. With energy, exhale, let that settle and soften two more. At the end of the next exhale, blink the eyes open, hands to the hips as you straighten the front leg. Face the front of your mat, push off, whoops, and come to a stance. Bend through the knees and sway the arms from side to side. Allowing yourself to come back to stillness. 
hand to belly, hand to heart. Inhaling and exhaling, infuse the palms of your hands with your breath. Feel the dynamic movement of your body as it invites energy in and the energy settles down. From here, your hands come to the hips, standing on the width of your mat, walking your feet out at a comfortable distance and turning the toes out too. Hands to the hips, and this is the inhale. Root down as if standing through sand and lift up from there. This is the inhale. On the exhale, set down as we bend through the knees, inhaling up and exhaling down. The rising of the sun on the inhale and the setting of the sun on the exhale. Adding the arms, handing the hands down to the thighs on the inhale, sweeping them up, drawing that energy in and settling the energy down on the exhale. Sweeping the arms up on the inhale, interlacing the hands or simply setting the hands down. Allow the movement to be as smooth as you can make the breath. We're not worried about how big the movement is, but we want the steadiness, the smoothness, both on the inhale and the exhale, moving as if through water. Three more. Feel every cell alive, every nerve, every fiber of your body, lost breath. Option to stay. Three breaths here. Staying for the last exhale. Push into your feet or the hands drift up and back down to the hips. Heel toe or jump the feet towards each other. Hand to belly, hand to heart. Settle the energy and infuse your hands with the breath. When you're ready, when you're settled, we'll come down to the earth. Make sure that you have everything you need for relaxation, and I'll see you there. Coming all the way down to the earth. So when you're ready, coming onto your back body. as we start to wind down our practice. So taking any softness you need, any support underneath your body that feels good. Starting off with the heels wide, knees towards each other, hands resting on the belly. Allowing the breath to come in and fill your belly. And on the exhale, allowing that belly to soften and release like a balloon on the inhale that inflates and exhale releases. Closing your eyes and simply feeling the connection of the belly lifting and lowering with the breath. Infusing every cell on the inhale. The exhale, settling that energy down completely. With every exhale, as you allow your body to rest into the support underneath you. to be a little 
bit slower and longer than it has been to give that energy time to settle down like that sun setting. You can stay here following your breath or knees come to a comfortable distance. Drawing the right knee in, giving it a little hug maybe even circling the ankle. One direction and then another. Following that softening of the exhale. Right out to ankle sits on top of the left thigh in a figure four. A great place to stay here or drawing the left thigh in towards the chest, hands on the either side of the thigh, behind the shin, or, or in front of that shin, right foot is flexed. Inhaling and exhaling. steady and smooth. Again, the energy of the setting sun with the exhale. As energy starts to settle. When you're ready, replacing the left foot if it's lifted. Staying as you are, or sliding the right leg over the left for bound roots. There's another twist you wish to take with your knees and ankles connected to each other. Please go ahead. Shifting the hips to the right, arms connected downwards so the shoulders are rooted. And then sending the knees to the left side using the right foot for support or another prop. And if the right shoulder is rooted and grounded, sending the gaze over to the other side. So the gaze is away from the knees, steady breath, that sun setting breath, the exhale, the releasing of energy now. Any tension, any tightness, allowing the breath to settle that down, releasing and relaxing. Gaze comes to center when you're ready. And the knees come to center too. Unbinding if you're bound and bringing the pelvis back to a neutral place. Slowly and in your own time, drawing the left knee in. Circling through the ankle or if that feels comfortable for you, one direction and then the other direction. Outer left ankle on top of the right thigh. Readjust yourself so you feel comfortable. And maybe this is where you stay. That settled exhale energy. Option to draw the right thigh in towards the chest, handing hands either side of the thigh underneath the knee pit or in front of the shin, both feet, feet flexed. Inhaling and exhaling. It's 
settling the energy down. Noticing if to do that you need to release some of the pressure of the pose. Stay for as long as you like. Or settling the right foot down on the floor, shifting the hips left. Shoulders are rooted in your own way. Sliding the left leg over the right or another twist that suits you. Knees come to the right. Left foot can support you. Keeping the left shoulder grounded. Gazing over the left shoulder, if that feels good. And staying with those sunset exhales, the energy settling. Tension releasing with every breath. Notice any holding in your body. Do what you can to ease that, whether you need more support or you need a different shape. Gaze comes to center when you're ready. And then the knees draw up to center too, unbinding if you were bound and settling back to center once again. Knees together, ankles wide, hands on the belly. Focusing on the exhale back as it gets a little longer and steadier. Like a balloon deflating as your energy starts to settle even deeper now. As your body starts to rest into the support underneath it, allowing your whole body to release downwards. Notice different places of tension, of tightness, and do what you can to adjust the shape to feel most comfortable for you. And then when you're ready, you can go ahead and close your eyes or soften your gaze. And if there's another place you want to rest into your relaxation, on your bed, on your side, on your belly, anything at all, making yourself comfortable, taking extra layers or less eye pillows. Give yourself some time here to settle yourself in. And as you do that, we'll come up to a seat to guide you. Making the last adjustments. Settling yourself down and in. Giving yourself permission to do whatever it is that you need for your best. And taking a full breath in when you're ready, hold right at the top. Exhale, sweep the breath out like that sun setting. Three more just like that. And the energy at the end of the day, like the releasing and letting go. And after your third exhale, let the breath ease back to its natural rhythm. Allowing 
your body to rest deeply here. Letting any holding, any tension dissolve away. As you allow your body to rest and deepen into the calm, allow your thoughts also to settle. That settling, that easing of your concerns. It's not that the thoughts go away, but they feel a little further away. As every thought or concern or distraction pops up, just like the sun setting behind a horizon, Allow that thought to settle and set as well. No matter how many suns set with those thoughts, just guide every distraction to disappear behind the horizon of the exhale. Notice how it feels. To have settled your body, your mind as best as you can, it doesn't have to be perfect. Get a sense of a deep calm within. Get familiar with that calm. You might even be able to locate it in a particular part of your body that you can come back to when life gets busy to remind yourself of the setting sun feeling, the calm, the letting go. Stay as you are for as long as you like. Tuning my voice out if you wish to stay. Now for those of you who would like to finish your practice without needing to open your eyes, simply sense the space around you. Starting to take more mindful breaths in and out. That inhale, drawing in just as much energy as you need to awaken as you start to move your body in its own way. Rolling 
to one side or another or giving your knees a hug, stretching wide or long, what is it that you need? And taking just as, not, as much energy as you need on the inhale, but still allowing that exhale to settle what it is that you need. And finding over the next few moments your way to a place where you would like to finish your practice. Hands in a gesture that suit you today. Take a breath in, exhale, sat. Going the chin down towards the chest, any amount. Eyes can be closed or soft or lowered. And find within you the energy of the inhale and the softening and letting go of the exhale, both available to you with every single breath that you take. And choosing for yourself how much energy you need and how much energy you want to settle on any given breath. Thank you for practicing today from my heart to yours. Namaste.